Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you our three main uh, spreadsheet tools for uh, simulations and um, I'm going to go over just to quickly explain each one. Actually on all, all of these, they're f so far we have them for football, baseball, basketball, and hockey. So that's uh, 12 total spreadsheets. So we've got, here's the NBA simulator for daily fantasy scores. So what you're going to do, you're going to come in here, you're going to load up today's players, it's going to show you what they're their salary, their projection. This is DraftKings data, but you can easily just copy and paste FanDuel or some or your own projections in here, uh, and it, it'll automatically update the standard deviation, which is their range of uh, scoring. Or you press the button to generate the standard deviation. When you're all set, you can go over here. You're gonna pick how many simulations you want to run. You're gonna run them, and then it's gonna show you the stats. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna show you all the players with their salary, their ceiling, their low. Uh, how many times they scored four times their salary, five, six, and seven times their salary. So then you can sort on these different columns, look at the players who are doing, who, who did well in the simulations, and maybe you want to look into playing them in your daily fantasy lineups. The next tool I want to go over is the game simulator. And the game simulator, what that's going to do, you're going to upload the today's games. It's going to show all the games that are that are set to be played. It's going to show their spreads if um, if there is a spread up up to date as as and then their implied totals, the team scoring standard deviation, and the over under. You're going to press the button to run simulations. It's going to run 250 game simulations, and it's going to come through and show all the the stats of the 250 simulations. How many times each team won? How many times they won against the spread? Uh, how they did in scoring like against their implied totals? Uh, their high and low scores, how many times they scored over 130, 120, 110, and 100 points, their margin of victory, how often they win by 5, 10, 15, or 20 points, and also the um, how they did against the over-under, the team totals, and both 10 points higher and 10 points lower, how they scored against them, along with a few, uh, a few charts to help you visually see this. And the final tool that we have is the player prop tool. And I'm showing you NBA, but we have this for all the sports. So what you do in here, you get pull in, first you can pull in today's data. You're going to pull in either with your season averages, your 30-day averages, or pull in with project, projections. And for basketball, we look at assists, rebounds, and points scored. But obviously for other, for like for hockey, I think shots is um, shots on goal is one of them, um, and so on. It's going to show what their either their average assists per game are or their projected assists per game are. Then you're going to go to the individual tab after you load load the day's players, and then you're going to click run the simulations. And what it's going to do, it's going to run the simulations and show you how often they scored over a certain number of uh, of points. So, for example, here it, it's showing the assists, and it's just showing guys that are over uh, three or three and a half assists per game. And then it's going to show you sim simulations are complete. It just ran 50 simulations. And it'll show you, like, say here, uh, Jokic, how many times did he get over two and a half assists 100% of the time till it slowly goes down to here? He got over 12 and a half assists 24% of the time. So then this would just be a stat that you're going to want to compare to your Vegas odds and see what kind of money you could get if you bet it. And it does it for assists, rebounds, and points for basketball. But for each sport, it'll be different, and it'll have different. Uh, you'll have different categories of stats to look at. But it's all going to work pretty much the same. Where you're going to see a chart like this with the player, the team, and their saving this one assists, and how often they get over that. So those are the three tools. Um, we, again, we got it for all four major sports, and. Uh, more tools I, I'm going to be adding, so keep on checking uh, checking the uh, webpage to see what other tools we've got. So if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.